first, can I have your name, please? Oh, I guess my dear boy, yes. yes okay. Yes. And your name? Uh, Rodolfo Barros. Okay, Rodolfo Barros. And what's your date of birth? January 12, 1954. Excellent. <laughs> you are who you say you are. Fantastic. So, well, look at your chart here. Uh, looks like we, um, you know, your vitals were taken about five minutes ago by the CNA. Very nice and, fellow. Uh, yeah, he was a very nice fellow. And we've got, uh, everything looks good uh, except, well, I don't even want to use except. Mm -hmm. Everything looks good. The only thing is that uh, the O2 saturation level is a little bit low. Oh, uh, the doctor problem. would like, well, the doctor wants to get that up a little higher. Oh, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to administer some oxygen for you, okay? Oh, excellent. And uh, the doctor has ordered a uh, Venturi mask for you. The Venturi, Venturi mask is pretty unique because it, what it allows us to do is fit one of these pieces Ooh. into the mask and deliver a very specific level uh, percentage of oxygen and a level in terms of uh, liters per minute. So that's what we're going to do. Doctor's ordered 40 percent. So I will uh, just give me a second to prepare my supplies here. Oh, of course. Okay. Of course. We're going to pull up here. We got our Venturi mask. What's that? I said, I bet you never seen a nurse that talks like that. I have. My primary physician. <laughs> To perform, right? Just pick one out, the one. Yeah, whatever, here's the 40%. Or, so just, pick, or just write up, read what it says. Where this is see? actually, yeah, Hold this on. is uh, the 12 that? liter and 50%. What's that? Yeah, close enough. Right, yeah, it'll be right on here. So 12 liter yeah. and 50%. Venturi's the only one where we may be given an order for a specific no, percentage. No, you will be given. Or you will be uh, for a specific, specific percentage. For um, because uh, they can say, you know, you can say two liters of oxygen via nasal cannula. You can say, no, no. You know, you, you know, the nasal cannula has a range from one to six. Right, right. Well, I'm saying the two. order may say, you know, two liters of oxygen by a nasal cannula, or the order may say mm -hmm. six liters of oxygen by a, by a one of the rebreather masks, but the I percentage is still a range, you know, 40 to 70, what have you. Okay. So, um, oh, okay. I'm sorry. In so, character. Okay. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, what we're going to do is fit the piece into the Venturi mask here, and then we're going to connect. The uh, oxygen tubing. No, this is the camera, oh. actually. Oh, yeah. Oops. Which way is it? There's another one. No, there. yeah, there's, yeah, I don't there's one there. Tear that oh, apart. No. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. You don't have to. Man. No, don't worry. In character, in character. So, okay, we're gonna connect one end to the venturi mask and connect the other end to the oxygen level oh. here. All right, and what I'm going to want to do is turn this on mm -hmm. and make sure that we get it right up to 12 liters. Excellent. Okay, and that's right where we are. And test it out. We're flowing just fine mm -hmm. here. And so, in fact, you know, uh, yeah, why don't you, why don't you kind of lay down, dude? Okay. Actually, what I what I should do um, put it on the dummy. Is, I'll, I'll swap it out. So yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I'll I'll just do it here. So I'll just, I'll just keep talking. What we're gonna do is bring you up. We always want to administer oxygen when you're at about a thirty degree, roughly thirty to forty degree angle. So bring you up here to do that. Okay. And oxygen's flowing. We'll go ahead and spread that out for you and fit this snugly behind the ears. Now, let me know if this is too tight. Should it be? We want it to be snug enough so that it holds it against your face, but not so much that it's causing you any pain or irritation. Or anything like that. Okay. My dear boy, I do feel a little bit of a little bit of, irrita of itching on top of my ears. Do okay. you have anything for that? Yeah, um, actually, what we can do is uh, put a little bit of uh, cotton or gauze underneath Ooh. there, and that way, um, you know, it's not going to be uh, irritating you as much. Splendid. Here, so we'll Splendid. go ahead and take care. We'll go ahead and take care of that right after we do wow, this. Wow, you guys giving us Okay. We're gonna change. And we're going to make sure that we fit the nose piece around your nose and does not feel like anything is coming out here. Okay, excellent. Sounds good. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and put up the oxygen in use signs on the outside of your door. A couple things I do want to go over with you. Uh, obviously, um, oxygen is very flammable, so we can't have any open flames, anything like that. So if you have any visitors, someone comes in, 
Make sure no smoking, no lighters, no matches, no open, no open flames of uh, any kind, okay? And uh, additionally, I'm going to be back in um, probably about 10 to 15 minutes and check up on you. Uh, mm -hmm. If at any point you begin to feel nauseous, dizzy, uncomfortable, have any sort of increased pain, or, uh, or you just don't feel any better uh, with this oxygen therapy, here's your call light. Please do give me a call. Um, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll make sure we take care of that. Uh, additionally, you've been prescribed 12 liters of oxygen. Um, that's pretty high. Uh, we can adjust that as necessary, um, but uh, the doctor definitely wants you to get back up into good oxygen uh, saturation levels. So um, if you have any questions, please do let me know. Don't hesitate to give me a call. I'm going to take down one of these here for you, uh, but I definitely want to leave these big ones up for your security. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands so I can go visit your neighbor. And uh, please give me a call if anything. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you very much, Capone. The neighbor. Boom.